everyone so now let's do our one lab i hope you remember in our previous class we discussed the switch okay so now we are going to look how we can configure the switch in our previous class what we discussed we discussed the different types of switch that is manageable and manageable and also in the manageable switch we have two types l2 and l3 so we have the idea about that one now we are going to do the configuration how we can access how we can do the configuration in real scenario whatever i am doing i am going to share that one but i am going to use the packet tracer packet tracer software is from cisco and most of the labs we can do in ccna level for in packet tracer some commands are not working in the packet tracer so that one we are going to do in the evng or gns3 or sometime i will take my Uh, what we can say real switch remotely i can show you that also everything same only real switch what we are doing same thing we are going to do in the real switch also so no need to worry that maybe you are thinking i am not doing on the real switch everything is same what we are doing here in, we are going to do in the real switch only okay so here this is a packet tracer software already i know that we install this one i hope you remember I am using this one. If you see version eight dot two dot zero dot zero dot sixteen one, maybe after some time they will upgrade. So whenever there is new update, you can update. Okay. So this is the packet tracer software we are going to use to perform our lab, basic lab. After that we will uh, go for the EVNG and the GNS three. So in that one, if you see here, you if you select the router, this is the symbol of router. If you select this one. you will have all different types of router available this is a series 4331 4321 if you move like this you will have all the router whatever available here if you go here this is a switch okay this is a switch symbol and when you select this one you will have the switch this is a layer 2 switch 2960 this is ptw switch ptmt here we don't have this is mt switch okay If you see, this is the empty slot. You can put whatever slot you want to put. First, you need to switch off this one, and you need to put whatever the maybe fiber connection. If you want to connect telephone, whatever you need, you can do with this one. Okay, and if you want to delete, select this icon and click here. So this will delete. Okay, and when you want to remove this de uh, delete from your pointer, go here, click this one, so that will remove. And this is a layer three switch. This one, and this is also layer three switch. so most of the time we are using this one this one and this one if you want you can use other also so let's do the lab for the layer 2 switch okay so how we will take click here drag and drop here okay when you drag and drop you will get the switch in the packet tracer in the real scenario we will have the switch you will take your laptop example what i am doing if my manager give me the switch example my manager is giving me rs uh, this what we can say asr 9000 series router they want to connect the two branches he is asking me can you take this router we have the lease line from the isp can you configure the mpls and make the two branches to be communicate so we are doing that one in the real scenario okay so what we will do what i will do first of all when i receive the brand new switch from my manager i will take my laptop okay when they give me the brand new when my customer give me the brand new uh, switch or router i will take my laptop then i will take my console cable this is a console cable okay in the packet tracer if you go here and select this one you will have all different types of cable available if you want to check select this one you it will show you what is the name of that one here okay if i go here see here this is automatically chosen connection type if you don't know which cable need to connect to which device like we are saying similar device should use this cable this similar device should use this cable if you don't know that one you can use this automatic cable if you want to use the console cable you can take this one if you see here it is written when i put here mouse it is written here and this is a cross uh, straight cable this is a cross cable this is a fiber cable this is a phone and this is a coaxial cable this is a serial dce serial dte this is octal and this is the different types of cable most of the time what we are using we are using automatic cable in the lab but in the real scenario we will use the ethernet cable and also fiber cable and first time when we have the new device we will use the console cable 
So now I will take the console cable. I will connect to my laptop. This is my laptop. Nowadays you have the different types of console. You have the new console cable that is USB to USB. Both the side you will have the USB port. You need to connect to your laptop and connect to the switch or router. But this is the old model. So they are giving us RS232. So this is a serial port we need to connect to our laptop. So this is connected here. And now I will connect to the switch. If you see in the switch, you will have the console port. You need to connect there. Okay. In real scenario, we will connect like this. If you want, I will show you the physical look. Okay. Let me show you in the software. We can see the physical look also. Let me click here. This is a physical then click this again, click this and this one again, click this. Okay. If you see, this is a physical look. If you click here, you can see here. Okay. This is our switch okay this is a switch one if you want you can increase the size you can see how it look and what are the ports available if you see this is a ports available all the ports whatever available to the switch it is installed in the rack okay we are having the rack in that one we will install and this cable is connected to the console cable this is the console cable it is going to our laptop it is going to our laptop if you want to check again this way if you want to come back we can come back from here also where we are we are inside this one so if i go here if you want i can zoom out also if you want to zoom out you can zoom out also like this and if you want to reset this is the reset basic uh, look so when you install new router it will come here a new switch it will come here in the logical topology in real scenario before installing in the rack what i will do i will take the router or switch i will keep on my decks and i will use my console cable i will connect this like this way okay but in the new system that is new router is having here also usb usb port as a console on the switch and here also in my laptop also i have the usb port for the new router switches, we are getting the USB port as a console and the cable also you will get along with the router before we need to buy for old router. But now we are using ASR 9000 series in that one each every each router when we open the box, we will have the dual power supply uh, that is two power supply cable and one console cable along with this along with the router or switch along with some the license all that one in the box brand new box is having that one. So we connect like this way after that we have the putty software actually we are using putty I am using putty many guys use the different also we have putty we have secure CRT so this is a putty software I am using this one so what I will do in the real scenario when uh, we receive the new router or switch I will select the serial here and I will select which com port sometime we have com port 1 2 3 that you need to check in our device manager you can go to my computer or computer after that in that one it will show you because I am not connected now so it will not show to me but in your case you can go to the device manager okay device manager and then you can check that one also which com port you need to connect if you go here in the device manager if you check here where is the ports here I have only one com port here you will get here lot of com port if you have more com port in your laptop and there you will see one option saying that USB is connected to that COM port. So you can see which COM port. Example, if you have COM port 2 here, then you can put COM port 2 in this place. Okay, and keep all default value, press OK. When you press OK, now I am not connected. That's why it is coming blank screen. But in real scenario, you will have the CLI of the switch. Let me show you here in the lab. When I click this laptop, okay, when I click this laptop, what I will do, I will go to desktop. After that, let me move this topology here. After that, see what I done, maybe you are fresher, you are watching first time. So I will explain again, click the laptop, then click the desktop. Then if you see this is a terminal, imagine this is a putty software in our laptop. When you click this putty, you will have the default setting. Keep same like this only default setting. Just press OK. When you press OK, you will have the CLI of the what we can say switch. If you are connected switch, you will have CLI of the switch. If you are connected with the router, you will have CLI of the router. Okay, so what I can say, we are able to access the switch. 
with the console cable first time we need to use the console cable you need to remember whenever you have the brand new switch your customer your manager give you the brand new switch then that brand new switch is not having the ssh or telnet or any ip address so we cannot access that device we have only one option to access that device is through console only okay through console we can access so what i use i use the console cable and i access the device now if you press i am inside the switch brand new switch is not having the password also we need to put later password you need to create the ssh or telnet create the username assign the management ip all that one we are going to do okay so in this class what we learn we learn here how we can take the switch in the real scenario your manager or your customer will give you to connect the branches or to do anything but here in the lab you need to click here select here and drag and drop here after that click here select which computer you want that one and drag and drop here then click the cable take the console cable click this and click to the laptop connect to rs232 and here connect to the console port then go to the laptop and in laptop where you will go you will go to the desktop okay desktop then you will go to terminal by default whatever setting press okay you will access the switch so in this video we learn this one in our next class we are going to do some basic configuration in the switch how we can change some basic parameter of the switch like if you want to change the switch name you have a lot of switch you have lot of router in your organization how you know that which switch you are accessing for that purpose what i will do generally in my real scenario i will change this switch name as our site name example if i have site uh, i can give any name like i have the sb headquarter okay i have sb headquarter or any site maybe abc so what i will do i will change this name as abc or i have site in exit 5 example i have one site in exit 5 in our uh, one site in exit 5 i have one branch in exit 5 i need to connect to uh, connect to head office so this switch is present in the exit 5 so i will change this name as exit 5 in for router especially for router we are changing this as exit 5 so this is a core layer switch core layer router we will have so we will give the site name so whenever you are doing the remotely ssh or telnet easily when you log into that device you know that you are in that device okay but your wish whatever name you want to give you can give example if you want to give your name you can give your name whatever your name abc xyz abc xyz whatever you want to give but as i told we are going to discuss what we are doing in the real scenario so when you go for uh, any job you should know the basic stuff how we configure what different parameter we are using generally what is the uh, what i can say what is a good practice what are the seniors are doing all you will learn here okay so from basic we will go no issue this is actually ccna 200-301 ccna 200-301 it will take 3 months for you to finish i am going to go slowly this is a live batch we are going to go slowly we are going to discuss each and everything okay after that you can do the ccnp but first ccna is very important you need to focus more on ccna because ccna is a basic if you are going in the networking field ccna is compulsory and not like just you are reading passing exam that is not sufficient you need to concentrate about the concept why i am using this why not this how we will use if someone asks you i have this problem you should able to give the solution even if you are unable to do the configuration but you should tell that there is a concept we can do this way we can do that one and later you can google that one and take the configuration and copy paste configuration is not tough no one will ask you give me the comments or how to configure this give me comment in the interview they will ask you the concept they will test your concept they will ask you i have this scenario how you will do i want to manipulate the traffic i want to take the incoming traffic from this isp and outgoing traffic from that isp how you will do so you need to know the concept if you know the concept you will say i will use the attribute if we are running the bgp that's all if they will uh, not say you okay write down that configuration and give me they will try to test your concept if you know the concept later when you are doing the configuration it is easy only if you struck any anywhere you will google you will get that configuration you will copy paste you will modify as per your requirement so no need to take headache for remembering all and everything 
you need to remember some basic comments whatever generally we are using after that when you practice more and more you will remember lot of comments and the other than that one you can look the google no issue but try to remember the concept why we are doing this what we are doing this if we have this issue how we can do what we call that what is the term what is the name of that thing if anyone asks you how you can define that thing in that technical word you need to remember that okay anyhow so we will close this session in our next class we are going to learn how we can change the name how we can do the basic setup for the brand new switch okay thank you bye